Armory Disc Golfers. Welcome back to another video. Apollo Disc Golf made a video a couple weeks ago talking about the history of control drivers and the really important ones in the game and whatnot. And then Broderick followed up a couple days after that saying that he missed the most important one. But guys, y'all somehow missed the king. If you've watched the channel before, then you know I love the Mint Disc Diamondback. These suckers have flight numbers of 95, negative 2, 2, but they come out of the box a decent bit more stable than that, and I think they make the perfect workhorse control driver because they can cover any angle, forehand or backhand. I have a couple of them in my bag now, which I'm really excited about, so we're going to throw some holes and show you what they can do. I thought I had a chance. To be fair, it looked like it was going in. And I'm blaming the crosswind on pushing it down. It looked a lot closer out of my hand. The big reason that I love the Diamondback is that it's stable enough to be stable, but it's straight enough to be straight. That's how I describe it to people who come in the shop because I try to get everyone throwing this disc. This is a 315 foot shot. I'm gonna show you how it handles some forehand. Nice and smooth. Don't have to put a ton of power on it like I would with a Firebird or something like that. It's straight, nice, stable, reliable finish. A little Texas flip action. And on that note, the Diamondback feels really good, both forehand and backhand, which I really like. I feel like I can learn the disc inside and out, all different angles and powers and things like that, as opposed to a disc like a Thunderbird, which feels great for a backhand, but I think that it feels pretty bad for forehands. So something like the Diamondback will get the nod for me. This is a 395 foot shot into a headwind. We're gonna see if we can get this brand new Diamondback there. I like the flip. Come on back, fight that wind, baby. That's a little short, but I like that shot. If I make this jumper, you're buying three Diamondbacks from Armory Disc Golf. Okay, this one's kind of ridiculous. It's 362 feet, but it goes down and then dog legs left. So this is actually the first time we've ever been to this park. And I do think that I would throw a diamond back here. This is my more beat in one. And so I can throw it on a nice hyzer and know that it's going to fade over, but it's gonna have that nice long pushing fade instead of throwing something more stable that just wants to get to the ground once it gets on hyzer. Stay out of the tree. It's not perfect, but I really like that. I should have just run that. Yeah, why don't I just run my putts? <laughs> you gotta love it when you're doing a disc feature and the course just sets up perfect for that disc. Like I said, we've never been here before, so this is nice. Come out of it, come out of it. Yes, sir. Hey, find me a prettier disc on the ground, huh? I will say a knock on the Diamondback, if there is a knock on the Diamondback, is that it's only available in Apex plastic. The good thing is Apex plastic feels great. I would like to see it in Glow, and man, I would love to see this in Eternal Plastic too. But Mint has said that in time, they're going to get all their discs and all their plastic. So looking forward to that. But for right now, Apex Diamondbacks. This is a 404 foot forehand shot. Didn't get all the way there, but I love the way that flew. That's fine. One of the reasons that I really like Diamondbacks is because they want to be a little more understable. You can start cycling them in. So I've had this one in the bag for a while, it has a little bit more flip to it, where this one is more straight to stable. So on a shot like this, now I have options. This is a par five. So I want to go straight down, finish slightly at the corner. So I'm gonna take my understable Diamondback, have it stand up a little bit and fade mellow right at the corner. Nice flip up, but it still has plenty of stability to come back at the end. That's just right where I want it. Just right where I want it. It's just about where I want it. If you've been around the channel for a little while, you know that I'm a big proponent of boring golf wins. However, 
I have an eagle opportunity here, lacing this inside gap. You better believe we're going for it. Taking the more stable diamond back now, so it'll fight back. Oh, did I do it? <laughs> no, I did not. Got a little tasty one for you. This is Dustin's like pocket pick, Storm Disc Crater. You'll hear more from us about this in future videos. It's sweet, boys. It's like if a berg married a pig and had a little approach disc baby, it'd be the Storm Disc Crater. Now I know that a lot of you are probably thinking or wondering, I need to address it. No, the Diamondback is not as stable as something like a Sea line PD or something like that. But if you're not throwing 450 foot Anheusers into a headwind that you need to fight out and get stable, if you need a control driver that you can trust on any angle, forehand or backhand, the Diamondback has my vote and it's got its place in my bag for that control driver slot. Final hole, I'm not nervous at all because the Diamondback is the perfect control disc forehand and backhand, like I've said, 260 feet over the creek. I'm not nervous. Why would I be nervous? It's the perfect disc. <laughs> I gassed it long because <laughs> I might have been a little nervous. Oh, tricky, tricky. Let's get one last putt for the boys. Heck yeah. So the Diamondback is my choice for that go-to control driver, stable-ish nine-speed slot. Let me know in the comments what you go to in this slot and maybe consider going one of these yourself. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you got to this point of the video, leave a like rating down below. I really appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one.